So peaceful. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's get etiquette. Are you ready to learn some golf etiquette? I'd like to think I'm a nice enough person. Uh, I probably just need a couple of tips. I need to make you understand. Having started at Wellworn Grove, your idea of golf etiquette will be warped. For example, did you know it's considered impolite to hit balls at people and property? No! I never would have thought. In fact, on many courses, it's even considered an offense. Are you sure? <laughs> that sounds like an odd rule to me. <laughs> but I was warned that, that golf has many strange rules. Yes, don't don't kill people at golf balls is a very strange rule. Uh, yes, this may take a while, uh, but like everything else in golf, it's nothing a few drills can't fix. Let me know when you're ready to start. All right, may learn some etiquette. No. Yes, I am. I just wanted to see if you had some dialogue. As usual. Looks like the group in front has stopped for a rest. What would you do in this situation? I guess we would have to rest as well. Hit over the top. <laughs> That's pretty dangerous. On this course, rest breaks occur often and there are no time limits. Those five hour rounds are gonna be a nice relaxing time. If you can't wait, it's customary to play around the group ahead. This means using the neighboring fr oh! <laughs> I see. Let's see if we can still reach the green in two while playing around. Wow! Okay, that's gonna be something. But can I actually like... I just wanted to see if, if the group was there. I don't see any sort of group. I guess it's just like a proverbial um, example of etiquette of the course, I guess you could say. Oh, the Omo, look at that, look at that! They actually call it Mashy Spade Niblick Jigger Shovel. Oh, 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 I don't have very many irons. Yeah, those are classic iron names. I didn't notice that. That's pretty nice. That's a nice little touch there. Uh, uh, I should probably go for my Mashy. Alright. And hopefully I'll just bounce it off of the bushes and uh, there we go and land it right in the circle. Nice! And to the green, I guess? This is your idea of etiquette! <laughs> uh, that's that. Oh. Oh no. Uh, well, I'm really between clubs here. But hopefully I can guesstimate my landing area well enough and get on the green. Oh, 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 stop, 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 yeah! Nice. Whoa! So that's one etiquette lesson down. Showed great restraint. You're ready for my next lesson. Woo! All right. I'm in. Ready for your next lesson? Yes, I am. Oh, maybe I should have tried B. Oh, t why would you put me here? Okay, can you see this? I can't see anything. Trees are in my face. Who said that? Behind you! <laughs> oh, there you are. It's, it is considered poor taste to go for the green when you're in trees. Um, it is? I would think of that as an awesome recovery attempt. The best thing to do is hit your ball back onto the closest fairway. Even if you have a good shot at the flag. Oh, come on! I highly disagree with that. Uh, but we must do what is apparently etiquette for the area. So let's go ahead and waste a shot. <laughs> Even though that this. Yeah, the, oh, no, no! Oh, shoot! No! <laughs> That's so sad. That's so sad. It rolled out. Okay, I just give myself a little more running room this time, I guess. Oh, oh, oh! Not enough running room. <laughs> oh, man, we may never be able to finish this. I think it's because I'm in the deep rough and it's messing with my distance control and whatnot. So I'm just gonna kind of hope that it lands in the circle to some extent and kind of play for both seven yards out and in, sort of, kind of, maybe. At least, at least to the best I can possibly play it. Oh shoot! Well, at least the wind is with me. Wind, help me! Help me! Okay. <laughs> nah, I think it was just fine either way. Uh, let's shovel it out of there. Mm. Oh, there's a member. <laughs> Uh, stay in the hole. Well, I should say stay in the ring. Stay in the ring. Okay, there we go. Beautiful! Woo! I failed on the first two, but I recovered on the last three. Practicing good etiquette won't get you low scores, that's for sure. And that's why we won't actually be using that. <laughs> 
Why do you think the Tor Pros are so rude? <laughs> Come on now. Woo! And... Uh, you know what, I should probably actually try and focus on my spin more. Just to see if I can get more stopping power. <laughs> Let's max it out just to see what it's like. <laughs> Why not? Ready for your next lesson? Yes, I am. Oh, I didn't hit B again. Well, mm. the final thing I'll teach you is the caddy rule. I have no caddy. <laughs> it's considered polite to take your caddy's advice no matter what it is. Oh, no. Knowing this, you'll need to practice a shot with different types of clubs. You don't want to be thrown off by your caddy at the last moment. <laughs> yes, because it's... What? Oh no, wait, you're only giving me woods for this shot? Oh no! Um, guess I gotta like, land it way back there. <laughs> I don't know if the caddy would really tell me to just hit with the wood, but okay. Should oh, really? Come on. Yeah. Guess that wasn't enough. I mean, it, it, it did, I played for more rollout than there actually was. See, that doesn't, that really doesn't look like it's regular green grass. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, that, that green looks a lot fluffier than your typical green. So I don't... Like, the fairway looks like it's smoother than the actual green green. <laughs> see, that, see how the... I got another one in. Wow. See, look at how the, the green grass over here matches the grass back over here beside the fairway. It just, yeah, it just doesn't really feel like a green green. But I guess it's a green green for this club. <laughs> Alright, let's just get this last one hopefully in there and call it a day. Woo! Yeah! I was, I was wondering if they would actually make me do all of the shots, but I guess not, because it's the same shot over and over. Your caddy will have a difficult time tripping you up. That should be enough etiquette to see you through their time here. There's a lot of rules, and frankly, nobody knows all of them. So how did they get their etiquette to be able to get membership then, if no one knows it all? <laughs> well, I guess there's some leniency then, so they wouldn't mind if I wink wink played through the trees directly to the green, would they? If I even get in the trees, but... <laughs> uh, now what do you have to say? Okay, uh, I just want to see my notes really quick. Archaeologist at Lurker Valley will surely know something about the old clubs. Oh, so I guess they're gonna be like digging up old clubs. Well, since I already started getting old clubs, I should probably go back. Oh, I didn't talk to you guys. Members only. Members only. Okay. <laughs> I figured that um, because I've already got two different clubs, you know, I should say two different parts of my clubs here, I should probably go back and uh, finish off my set if at all possible. Maybe? If I can find the archaeologist. Uh, he might just be hanging around that other side. Oh, oh there you are. I, was, I thought maybe you'd be on the other hole, but no, he's over here. I was hoping I might be able to employ your expertise. I thought you might be able to dig for clubs? Dig up and- yeah! <laughs> like a wedge, maybe? And you thought there might be one here? I thought- oh, oh, that was me talking, not him. Well, I think you are right. In fact, my tracker is bugging me as we speak. Yes! I think you might find it on the Wii Links. Okay. So, tracker's on, right? Could it be this easy? Probably not. I think you might find a club on the Wii Links. So, we got our tracker. We're on the Wii Links. Let's roam around until we get some sort of radar detection. We've got some radar detection! Uh, nope. Getting cold. Getting warm. Getting warmer. Warmer. Or colder. Colder. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it's like in the middle type area. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, oh, getting colder again. Uh, huh? Hmm. Yeah, like, where is... Is it across on the other side? It could... That could be. Oh, yep, yep, okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, you know what? Oh, I was gonna say, um... I'm gonna try digging without my digging wedge equipped, but... I'd like, just, just to see if it'll let me do it, but... Too late! Old club. That actually looks like a more modern club, in all honesty. This seems quite old. Could it be what I need? I don't know, we'll see. I guess it's gonna poop me back by the archaeologist. What do you think about this? Yowza! This thing is an ancient! How old do you think? Hmm, let's see. 
5,000 years! Blue cloves haven't been a thing for a while now. I put it at two, maybe even three products. Oh, <laughs> okay, yes. That's very, very old. Maybe four years or so at most. <laughs> Possibly as old as six months. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I saw Ron head out with, with it this morning. I'll return it to him next time I see him. Oh, so that's his club, not mine. I was kind of hoping I might find something a bit older. 50 years older, actually. 50 years! I'm an archaeologist, but even I don't dig for something that old. There's no way people played golf that long ago. <laughs> yes, they did. At any rate, a job like that certainly exceeds my capabilities. But perhaps with the help of a specialist, I've got it. Maybe at the soda bar. Okay. Oh, do you th oh the catcher maybe? Do you think I need to get the remainder of the catcher coins? Like, maybe there's gonna be a catcher coin over at the, the newest two places. You know, like, the one that's over up here, and then the ye old graveyard over there. So, anyway, go to the soda bar! Hurry, hurry, go, go! Load, load, now, now! <laughs> soda bar, soda bar, delicious, delicious soda! Mmm, Mountain Dew, go! Mmm, caffeine! Uh, yeah, you are standing next to the catcher guy. Okay, he's here. Tell him what you told me. Fifty years on the ground and still not found. Now they roll balls on the overhead ground. <laughs> on the catching world, I've made my mark. The original catch, born of Tidy Park. Sorry, what was that? Is that a hint? I didn't understand it if it was. It's an old catching legend. Some call it the original catch. As old as the sport of golf itself. How did they know I would be there fifty years when they buried it? I take it upon myself to update the clues. Oh, okay. <laughs> This legend may just lead you to what it is you seek. We consider this an expert level catch. Ooh, its mystery has never been solved. Ooh, doesn't seem that difficult. <laughs> Good luck with it. <laughs> uh, yep, I was a catcher this whole time. Really? Uh, bring me five coins, it'll have my attention. Uh, what? What? Okay, so I still, so I got to get the other two coins. I guess. Uh, actually, hold on, I want to see, oops, I want to see my notes really quick. It's apparently a catch with an old club in a place at Tidy Park where balls are rolled along. Oh! Where we got those, uh, the, where we bought the balls at the pro shop, there's got to be a game that you can play them at, and then you dig wherever that game is. We just haven't seen that yet. Okay, so that's one of the two catcher's coins. I suppose, so maybe I won't be able to finish my uh, set of clubs this part after all. Oh, whoa! I got a radar. I've got a radar. Maybe I should wander around here aimlessly until it starts... Oh, here are lawn balls! Yes! This has got to be the place. Okay, now before I hit dig there, I'm going to switch my digging wedge to the well-worn wedges. Now, will it let me dig? Yeah, it'll still let me dig. Oh, okay. So I guess I don't need my digging wedge after all, other than just having it in my inventory. So that's actually kind of nice thinking about that because a puddle wedge because of the gapping. How do you hit something like that? It's got a hole in it. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I, 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 I presume that's probably <laughs> great out of what? Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> because if you're hitting on a damp area, like, is this, like, is this water? Yeah, that is water. Okay, I see. I was wondering about these things over here. I didn't know if that was just, like, more of that bluish grass, or if it was water. But now that I dropped the ball there, I see. So, the, the hole is to take the water out of the equation, I guess you could say. So, if I should use that out of water, we're okay. But if I were to say use the digging wedge instead. Will I have more difficulties? Oh, a lot more difficulties! Holy poop! That's that's a huge difference. Uh, what if I use uh, regular well-worn wedges and drop a ball here? S about the same. Wow! That That is, uh... That's telling me I most certainly should have the puddle wedge equipped for this course. Yes, they're gonna have, like, uh, standing water all over the place like that. Oh, you, you know what I never tried before, like, I kept thinking that I should try doing is kicking a ball in the hole. Can they do that? Yes, I can. <laughs> I can still remove those flags and put flags in there too. Uh, so this is where we're going to play lawn bowling eventually. I, I 
I guess. Uh, at least I would assume that's when we're going to play, or we're going to play wall, lawn bowling, and this has got to be one of the holes of the course with standing water as well. You know, if uh, if your ball actually ends up in standing water on an actual golf course, uh, you're actually allowed a drop away from that, like a free drop, because it's irregular ground conditions. Oh, hello. Uh, I, I said hello. Golf courses are out of control these days. Back in my day, we had one set of tees for all players. And if you want a hole to be harder, you used your putter. <laughs> Come, give it a go. You want me to use my putter for the entire... Wow. I will... Okay. Sure, I'll give that a shot. Putter, we're off. Oh, should I be using the antique putter or, or my... It's over my regular putter? Well, it's here now, so I've got to assume that it's going to work out. <laughs> It gives me six shots to make it to the green, so I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I think I gotta hold basically ZR for every shot for the most part, and just kind of roll it on along. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough distance to do this. I might have enough. We'll see. Yeah, go, little putter, go. <laughs> Three hits left, and I don't. I don't even know if I'm halfway. Uh, okay, I am. I'm, I'm doing, I guess I'm doing all right. Go! Oh, that was, that had a lot of roll to it compared to the other areas. Oh, I, oh, I see that now. There's different fairway textures. So, it's going to roll faster on different... Oh, that, oh, that rough isn't, oh! <laughs> so that really isn't green. Interesting. Are we actually going to be putting through rough on the actual course? Like I did that putting through rough trick to trying to hold out more things from off the green. We're actually going to be doing it for realsies. So that really is truly rough and not actual green green. And that means I have to hit pretty much a lot harder <laughs> than I think I should be hitting on the quote-unquote greens if it's going to be like that. See? Wasn't that more fun than slogging a driver 300 yards? Well, that was interesting, I gotta say. <laughs> Side quest completed. Although I still do not have a set of woods that are old enough. Uh, puddles are a serious concern on this course. I see you have a running iron. Yes. That must mean you're ready to take the water on. No. Okay, yes I am. Okay, I guess uh, you wouldn't have let me do this unless I had that uh, running iron. Yes, yes, yes. I am ready. So that means... Yeah, I actually wouldn't even be able to make it over there with... Uh, if I was using my regular wedge, the running iron can be a scoring club if used correctly. I want you to gain some versatility with it. Let's see what kind of coverage you can get out of the water. Uh, well, this is going to be a relatively simple, straightforward shot, I think. I'm just going to kind of splash her out there, like a bunker shot. <laughs> Only it's, it's a lot heavier. And there we go. And uh, cost counter for two points. So I got in the middle ring, I presume. Maybe it's three points if you get in the hole. I don't know. Maybe we'll find it out. Maybe we won't. We'll see. Oh, 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 we'll find it out. Oh, three points. Yep. <laughs> Good guess on my part. Uh, go yeah, a little bit, a little bit forward, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, oh, oh. Mm. Hmm. That actually went a lot for... Oh, yeah, the four-yard range. Whoops. <laughs> okay, okay, that was my bad. I, th I think I'll still be able to get enough points to ace this challenge anyway. Oh, especially if I do that, yes. <laughs> so this last one is just for fun, then. Not that they weren't all for fun, but... I mean, in terms of com side quest completion. And... We're in, baby! Woo! Yeah, that puddle wedge is actually pretty good. <laughs> Not many people can be effective with that club. Well done. I wonder if they actually make a club like that. I've never seen a club made with a hole in the middle like that. The running iron is the best club in my bag. I could see that for this course if you're going to end up in... Like if there's all these sorts of standing water things that slow your running down and stuff like that. Um, You there. The grounds are in beautiful condition today. Yes, they are. Sort of. <laughs> If you count all the standing water, beautiful condition, but details, details. I guess I'll do this. I see you've got some vintage irons, yes. You can't afford to go all gung-ho with clubs like that. Want to try playing it safe? No. Ah, no new dialogue. I see you've got... I just waste my time when I do that, I swear. Oh, shoot, I... Ah, and also if I mash through stuff, I also waste time. 
All right. <laughs> I want you to practice hitting the fairways. It might be tempting to hit further, but don't be a hero. The hazards here will cause you serious trouble if you find them. Well, I got that running wedge. Wait a second. Is that a caddy? Did I, did I finally get a caddy back there? Did I? Nah, I doubt it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just... Oh, no. I was going to say, I'm going to try and get that circle. It should still work out okay. Actually, maybe it was good that I underhit that. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that should be just fine. My spade should be able to get that in. Oh, whoopsie doodle. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. I'm, I was, I'm good. It just giving me a different shot anyway. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like take me back to the start, and I had to do all those consecutively or something like that. Ah, uh, no, we're okay. Oh, oh, ooh, that almost was total roll. Oh no, wait, this is the same area. Or I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the same area, but that other guy that I the joke that was my caddy is not here, so maybe it's not the same area. Is it? No, it is different areas. Okay, <laughs> it's like switching up. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can't even cancel it. Oh well, <laughs> I better get this one then. Uh, go under a little bit for maximum spin. And I'm not seeing much more stopping power with that increased spin that I used. <laughs> you know, with my experience points. Ah, poopers. Yeah, I, I, I flubbed that one shot. You didn't play safe enough. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Vintage items. Delightful. Play it safe. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So I want to pay more attention as to where, where I'm starting these locations at just for the sake of uh, shot adjustment and stuff like that. I'm good. Just as long as I land it in the rougher, okay? Yeah, this... I think this is the same shot as before now. Yeah. This is the same shape of the fairway landing area. Alrighty. Why did that roll out so much? <laughs> Whatever. I just need to be a smidge more consistent overall, I guess. Come on, Mashy. Do your thingy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Uh, huh? That did- oh, I, I thought it bounced back into the circle, but I guess it just did not quite count. Well, I might end up failing this round, too. <laughs> oh, maybe- <laughs> Restart! Restart! <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe it's because I'm using these vintage items, uh, vintage irons, and they don't have, uh, the same sort of spin as other irons. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. We can do this. I have full faith in myself that I will be able to get used to these irons enough. And I'm also gonna try more spin. More spin. More spin! <laughs> See, that turned out okay. I don't know. So back there. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Wait, wait. So I went one club back, and then I went under... Uh, something like that. I think it was. I think it was the spade that I hit with. Well, we're gonna see. Yeah, maybe what why it rolled out so much before was because I had the wrong club, and I just lowered my distance, and I had more rollout because I had a, a lower lofted club or something like that. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, under the ball, nice and high. Well, as high as the vintage clubs can go, and roll with the flow. There we go. <laughs> Doing a whole lot better now that I'm, I'm kind of getting the idea of uh, these clubs roll out. And I guess I can try the niblick this time. Why not? And yay! Happy days. Um, and there's that puddle of water that got me. But at least I got enough pointages for successages. I'm going to try and land it in the rough just before the fairway. Hopefully, ew, that was too much. <laughs> it didn't land in the rough. Oh, poopers. So I'm gonna try go back a little bit further than I did there. And we try again. I overhit that. Well, I, I won anyway, so it might not matter too much. Oh, five out of six, not bad. <laughs> yeah! There's a good lad. Never hit further than you can throw a stone. This rule has served me well for many years. You probably also take eight on every hole. <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually, that could be 
a relatively good way to manage a course, assuming that you don't play so safe that you end up losing shots because you think like, oh, I gotta play fairway, 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 and suddenly you're five shots just in the fairway instead of fairway rough near the green on the green <laughs> or something like that, you know, trying to cut the corner or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna up this stuff because of the, at least in theory, the more difficult to use clubs, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can't expect to shoot par if you can't hit fairways. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I maybe, perhaps, get some sort of other set of woods that are of the vintage old variety. Maybe, or maybe I won't. I don't know. I guess as we explore, we shall see. <laughs>